Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com. Got a video for you today that's a bit of a workshop and it's looking at a particular problem that seems to be quite common with installations of Cubase. This is Cubase 7 and it's installed on a PC that I bought about 10 months ago. And when I bought that PC, I was running Cubase 6. So what I did was rather than install Cubase 4 and then Cubase 5 and then Cubase 6, I just installed the Cubase 6 disks and later of course I've upgraded to Cubase 7. In the process of doing that something didn't quite work right and I lost all the presets for my MIDI inserts and for the logical editor. That to date hasn't been an issue for me because I've been working with other things but now that I'm starting to work on a new album and I'll be using MIDI again I wanted to try and address that. So I found a way to do it and this video is going to show you how I'm going to try and achieve that end result and I'm going to document it as I go in the hope that it'll be of help to other people. Just to illustrate what the problem is, if you load something into a MIDI slot like the Arpacci here, there's no presets available to you and likewise if you go up here to MIDI um, I just select a MIDI track. The logical editor is available, but there's no logical presets. And if you come into the logical editor itself, no presets again. So what I'm going to try and do is to restore those presets. And to do that, we have to move out of Cubase into Windows. So this is very much a Windows-based tutorial, but hopefully the principles will apply if you're a Mac user and you're having the same issues. So here we go. So the first thing we have to do is to open the computer and find our installation of Cubase. So we drill down all the way to Cubase 7 and we find the presets folder and as you can see the presets for all the MIDI inserts and the logical editor are there. The next thing we need to do is to find the roaming file for the Windows account. So to do this we type run there and we type as you can see percent app data percent and that will then open the roaming data for individual applications. We go into the Steinberg account and we find the presets folder in Cubase 7. There we are. I thought I'd lost it for a minute and you'll see there's a significant difference. We've got the project logical editor, we've got the staff presets and not a lot else. Now quickly we'll just identify that we've got the same things in and we say that we've got 35 files in four folders in the logical editor, 35 files in four folders there, 25 files in four folders there and 25 files in four folders there. So it's perfectly safe to highlight those and that and either control drag them across or copy and paste. And there it is copying all those lovely items across. And now when we go back into Cubase, we should find that all of those missing presets are available to us. So let's find out. OK, so here we are back in Cubase. And let's first of all have a look at the MIDI. And we've got the logical presets back. They're all active now. And if we go into the logical editor, we can see that we have all the presets available to us in the logical editor as well. And if we go into the MIDI inserts and we load the Apache, there we have ooh, a rather long list of presets, but it's there. So that's it. That's how to replace missing presets in Cubase. Simples as they say. Until next time, take care of yourselves.